If you need to scrape data from Apartments.com, I'll show you how to record the Apartments.com API to legally scrape listing search results from their website for any real estate market. Just head to Apartments.com and enter in any location. I suggest being as specific as possible because this method is only going to work for a small set of results. We're not going to be able to scrape these thousands of results here like we can do with Zillow or Redfin as I've done in my other videos. The reason is that they use HTML over here which is notoriously difficult to scrape and changes all the time so I suggest you just don't even bother. Instead you want to zoom in to a specific area where you want to scrape the listings of. Realistically you could maybe get about a hundred or so in this approach I'm going to show you in this video. To narrow down even further you can use any of these filters here like you can put in a range for the rent you want to look up beds, bath, home type, and other options you have available to you here. So now I'm down to only four results, but don't worry because I can zoom out and pan around the map to load even more in. So here we have about 20 results in Miami I'm going to try to scrape. To start scraping, I right click on the page and hit inspect. This will open up developer tools to begin recording my web traffic. It also resizes the window so the number gets a little bit bumped down, but again we can just pan and zoom out as we need. If you want to see what's going on, go to the network tab and type in info card and the filter and you'll be able to see the network data we're going to be intercepting and recording to do the scraping from. Now you need to hover your mouse over and or click each of these little pins here and that'll get the apartments.com API to load in the details about each of these listings. So here I can see this listings detail like the street address, coordinates, postal code, and submarket within South Beach. If you're looking for the contact phone number, you get that as well from the API because it's shown in the HTML shown above. You can also see details about each listing not shown in the HTML. For example, I can figure out time in the market because I see this field here, first availability date, April 1st, 2024, which I assume is when it was first listed on apartments.com. Here I can see the rent so that corresponds to what's shown up here, $5,100 a month and the number of bathrooms here, two. We can see the number of beds is two. We can also see the size and square footage, which is 1196. You also get the URL to the actual listing in case you just want a spreadsheet with each of these URLs so you can track them. Now to get the rest of these 19 listings, I literally need to go and hover over each pin and or click on them until the API loads the data. So I can see that here in the browser. Then I go to the next one and click on it and keep going. That way I get the API to send me all this data. It is a little bit tedious, but this doesn't violate the terms of service nor use any automation that's likely to get blocked. And it gives your summer intern or virtual assistant something to do. So now I've clicked on all 20. I can verify this in the bottom left of my browser. I can see 20 requests here match the filter for info card. And to get all this data out of the browser, I click this down arrow here under the network tab called export har and save that to my computer. Then using the link in the description, you'll see my no code apartments.com API scraper featuring the har file web scraper here in green. So just drag and drop your HAR file here and it will automatically parse out the data. Now you'll likely see this first group here. You do not want this. This is just a bunch of search metadata. You can see these fields here don't have anything to do with the homes. So just collapse that over here and make sure you look for that info card data I mentioned earlier. Make sure it says info card data right here. And you should see a few of these photos for the homes as well as a few relevant fields like pet friendly, rent, etc., number of beds, baths. Make sure you see this. Here I can see each of those 20 individual JSON requests that got sent back to my browser and I can click these blue links to download each of those individual JSON payloads sent to my browser. But if you want all these listings combined as a single CSV file, just go up here and click parse group. If you have a freemium account with us, you can download up to 10 rows of this data per day for free. So here I just click download CSV and I have a CSV file with all 20 of those listings. We can see the name of each property, which is usually just the street address, but sometimes it's a community name, the URL to visit it on apartments.com, as well as an image URL and the phone number and some other random fields here. In case you cross city lines, you can see the actual city of each listing as well as the street address here and the postcode. Here's the submarket. So South Point is a submarket within South Beach. So that's a sub neighborhood you could think of it. You get coordinates. Here's the number of beds, the number of baths. We also see it duplicated here. They look like the same value. This here is the rent, so $5,100. You'll see it under rent rollups, high display, low display. This column here shows first availability date, which should be the date when this was first listed on apartments.com, but please double check that before making any conclusions. And here is the square footage size listed under min and max size, as well as the phone number again in numerical format. 
and a bunch of other random and duplicated fields over here, which probably aren't very useful. And lastly, if it's in a big community building, like an apartment building, you can see the actual unit number here in this column. So I hope you guys found that useful. Sorry we can't scrape thousands of results in a few minutes like we usually do. See my videos on Zillow or Redfin if you want to do that. However, I think this apartments.com data could be useful if you're very hyper-focused on a few certain homes or listings in your area. You could probably monitor or scrape about 100 of these realistically per sitting or assign this work to your interns. Thanks for watching until the end and check out this next video on scraping foreclosures from Zillow. Like and subscribe for more.